James Blunt says he will legally change his name to whatever fans choose, but there's a catch. Singer James Blunt has promised to legally change his name to the most popular suggestion from the public, but there's a catch. The 50-year-old musician vowed that if the re-release of his debut album Back to Bedlam hits number one in the charts, he will change his name by deed poll. In a video message posted on X, Blunt said the album, which features hits like You're Beautiful, Goodbye My Lover and Hi, is being re-released on October 11th to mark its 20th anniversary. I'll let the people decide, Blunt is heard saying in the short video. He adds, but if it doesn't go to number one, I'm not changing my name. Writing alongside the video message, the singer used the hashtag hashtag James Who and asked fans to comment their name suggestions below the post, with the most liked becoming the winner. And fans did not disappoint. Within hours of being posted on Wednesday, it racked up over 800,000 views and more than 2,000 comments. The most liked suggestion at the time of writing was Blunty McBluntface, the exact name the singer said he did not want during an interview on The Chris Moyles Show on Radio X on September 30th. Other popular suggestions included Blames Junt, James Corden, after the presenter and Gavin and Stacey Starr, and Nick Pope, after the Newcastle United and England footballer. Back to Bedlam became one of the best-selling albums of the 2000s in the UK and is 17th on the list of the best-selling in UK chart history, according to the official charts website. His single Your Beautiful reached number one in both the UK and US. Blunt went on to release a further seven albums. The latest was Who We Used To Be, in 2023. As part of the anniversary album, the singer is embarking on a tour across the UK and Europe, playing London's The O2 Arena on February 16th next year, as well as dates in Belfast, Dublin, Leeds, Glasgow and Manchester.